and my so-called friend was sleeping with my boyfriend. Let me tell you guys this. If you approach your man or anybody about something and they become aggressive towards you and about that situation, best believe that it's true. I said notice that the girl was coming weird to me. This is when it now gets very, very interesting because these men, don't trust them. Hey, don't trust men. Don't think you're slick and I'll tell you why. Hey besties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I mean, first off, look at my beautiful hair. Yeah. Also guys, I'm going to be giving you a very juicy story time. On the time I found out that my so-called friend was sleeping with my boyfriend. <laughs> so-called friend was sleeping with my boyfriend. It was shocking because it was the guy that ended up snitching on her. So in my mind, I'm just like, these men, I wouldn't say run away from them, but shall be careful. This beautiful, lovely video is sponsored by Asteria Hair. That's where I got this beautiful hair from and I styled it in my own way, per. As you guys know, I'm going to be giving you my story time and my hairstylist will also be styling my hair. So, I mean, let's get into the video. How the hair came in this is such a very cute like packaging first up it comes in this i'll show you the hair so yeah and then there's a beautiful wig cap i don't know how but like it suits my skin color perfectly because this is not too bright and it's just like the perfect brown then your lashes duh. then a cute band that has the velcro so i feel like this is the new in band so if your hairstylist is giving you that type band tell them you don't want that that you won't velcro okay so as usual my hairstylist is going to be styling my hair while i give you guys a tea so let's just get into it so this was a very scrumptious time this was when i was in uni um done with uni now i've been done for like two three years right uh, wow it's actually been a minute but yeah i was in uni then and this was my hundred level so i came in with so much enthusiasm so much open-mindedness and i was in boarding school so that was actually the only time in uni that i was in boarding school so this was my first year everything i had like i think five roommates were six in the room it was very nice like these those people were amazing i'm actually not gonna like like they were very amazing we were very close we we're like always moving as a i always say click because i don't like that word but like as a team so there were these two beautiful ladies i really loved them from the bottom of my heart they were sisters right and it was cool we're very close like we're, we're like this in 100 level and one of them the older sister now had this friend apparently the friend came in later than us was a virgin then huh, i just casted myself but yeah i was so i was seeing this guy i wouldn't say he was my boyfriend because anybody i dated when i was younger even in uni you're not my boyfriend you were friends do you understand so yeah period <laughs> let me say it was my supposed boyfriend then do you understand so we met everything was good i've actually known the guy i knew the guy for a long time before we got together and everything we're never doing anything sexual we're just always doing you know kissing just the normal cute vibes you guys know that shit i liked him though and the vibe was good the vibe was very fine yeah so this roommate of mine the older sister there was this girl that joined our school and i think she joined in the second semester so she, we didn't like initially know her so when she joined in they became friends instantly so she used to stay in our room she was a day student but she was always sleeping in our room she was literally like our roommate but she wasn't do you get do you know, i actually don't remember how she got this guy's contact but then i was younger and i was very open like i was always like oh this is my guy like my friends knew him like my friends knew him well do you understand so you know how he is in 100 level now. you're just so open about everything you guys are for me in power cup of girls every now and then like i used to be quite open with like who i was dating and everything like now you can't you can't tell me nothing no you're not going to know exactly who i'm dating like you can't even know their ig or something like that and imagine being in a room of six people that means like five people know who you're dating their IG, their number, when they come see you, how they look, haba. Three is a crowd, darling, honestly. I saw that this girl, the girl that was in our room, that's not our roommate, and the supposed boyfriend of mine were following each other. 
And I was like, come, because I was like, okay, cool, we're all friends, right? Like, you guys are not really friends, but it's okay. Maybe you guys like each other's content. Maybe. And it was cool. I never, like, made an issue about it. But then I said that the girl was coming weird to me. Like, she was kind of, like, avoiding me in a weird way. Like, you know when someone is avoiding you in an aggressively weird way? So it was, like, negative energy, but I know you're, like, avoiding me. So you're not coming at me kind of vibe. And I was just, like, looking at this babe, like, like, don't fucking try me. You're sitting in my room. You're not meant to be here. If I snitch to the matron about this, you'll actually be kicked out. So you better, like, respect yourself and act right. But then I just looked over, like, okay, whatever. Like, maybe it might not be if i don't know i don't care then next thing he said liking her pictures and it was sketchy and i was like what's going on next thing she makes a post i can remember that day i was not really active and so when i opened it i saw her picture that she's made like hours ago and i saw his comments and his comment was like love struck love struck hearts <laughs> red hearts no not pink no brown no purple red hearts are you <laughs> are you playing with me and I called him up and I'm like, what's going on? Like, why are you leaving a comment on my friend page? And he just starts to make a big deal about it. Let me tell you guys this. Let me tell you something. If you approach your man or anybody about something and they become aggressive towards you and about that situation, best believe that it's true. It's happened way too many times for me not to know. The way he acted was like, he was already starting a fight. And I'm like, we're not fighting. Like, I'm just asking you why. Because you know it's disrespectful. If I do that to your guy friend, would you appreciate it? No, you wouldn't. It's not about you commenting. It's about what you commented. Do you understand? In fact, now, don't even comment. Like, if I catch you, now, <laughs> I don't fight. I will definitely not tolerate that. This guy got so mad. He just like, said to make you feel like, oh, I was being a crazy babe. And like, oh, why am I acting up? That, do you know what? He doesn't want to talk about it. He just cut the call. Being as the calm babe that I am, I still am a very calm babe. I just let it. Do you understand? We're not cool, but I let it. I didn't approach her. Obviously, why would I approach her? Like, did she make him comment, you know? <laughs> Like, the thing was just so weird and I was just like okay fine I will actually let go of this because it was just so off like both of them were acting off and I suspected but I was just like if she couldn't tell me if I approach her would she tell me the truth and because like her friend that she was staying with in my room we're actually very close we're actually closer than her other sister it kind of made me to even like shy away from her friend a bit because I was just like her friend definitely knows that okay there's obviously something going on between this girl and my boyfriend then so this is how like i think about a month passed me and that guy just became like we're not dating anymore definitely i don't think we even spoke again me and this girl we basically became like rivals it wasn't like i was beefing her but obviously i was a bit hurt that i knew something was going on and she was giving me bad energy it's like okay this person i used to be so cool with now is like we're strangers and sometimes she now comes around to sleep so it was just everything was weird for me this is when it now gets very very interesting because these men don't trust them hey don't trust men don't think you're slick and i'll tell you why months after right this guy now comes starts to form pow best g let's talk let's because we work together so we weren't working we weren't seen every day but at least like maybe three times in a month we would see you get based on we're in the same sphere he now started trying to crawl back into my life as a friend genuinely as a friend i would think now i'm thinking about it it was not as a friend there was nothing friendship about that about your ex crawling back into your life nope Nope. One day we're not on the phone and I now brought up like, okay, how come this happened? I saw your comments on my friend's profile and then you took it pissed and then it literally broke us up. Do you understand? He was like, okay, let him be open to me since we're cool now and it's like in the past, in the past of just two months ago, these men. And then he now told me that, okay, actually they had something going on. They were sleeping together. I'm like, wait, what? My roommate is basically sleeping with my boyfriend. How does that make sense? Do you understand? Like, how does it how was she even looking at me that's why she was avoiding me like how was she even able to look at me it just did not make sense to me at all i was actually very confused but i wanted him to open up truly to me i wanted him to like just feel comfortable telling me see if you're my friend you'll notice this if you're confident to me about something it might be paid me oh 
it might be hurting my chest but i want you to complete whatever you're saying first do you understand before you see my emotions and even whoever i did like you would know this about me like open up to me talk to me talk to me baby <laughs> until i show you do you understand but yeah so i'm calm listening to him and then he's like that's why he acted that way and this is the part that shocked me like everything shocked me but this part shocks me the most at what he said so basically this is why I'm saying don't trust this man because this is the person he was supposedly cheating on me with my friend and my friend too thought it was wise to do that behind me like what exactly were you getting from him because honestly think about it there's, there was nothing literally nothing maybe he was fine okay so we'll find tickets to heaven no so what were you actually like why couldn't you chase your own guy i was not like okay like okay that's weird like how do you guys meet or anything he was like oh yeah they stepped for each other on ig and he now propounded to her for them to meet right and that the first <laughs> this is bad that shocked me he said it with his own mouth he was like that mm, even as they met the first time that like, can i believe that she slept with him on the first day that she's even a whore she's like he's not saying insulting her and i'm like i don't understand first off you're the one that invited her she came she felt comfortable enough with you to sleep with you and now you're now trying to make it seem like oh that makes her less of a person do you understand that people are very evil in this world i'm not saying he's a bad person because honestly i genuinely feel that people can make bad decisions but that doesn't make them a bad person like someone will still love them so you get but i'm saying evil in the sense of that like harba harba she you, you guys did the deed together but when it's now time for you to come back to me and try to make it all platonic you're not turning her to be like the bad person in the sense of that oh you know she even did it on the first night and so didn't she also do this with her on the first night aren't you a mad guy oh because she's the one that opened her leg you didn't you open something aren't you is something wrong with you so the whole thing was very irritating to me here's the part that now even made it worse for me because you know i found out that through him that like the friend of mine that was close because you remember that she was close to my close friend right so that girl knew it's like i know a from b i'm closer to b right and a did something wrong to me to find out that b was on it throughout like b knew about it b encouraged it a and b how far bro like what's going on with your girls like i was really like okay now that is weird by this time i was actually totally over this guy like i wasn't even trying to i was like you know for you to even come at me and start trying to like make the girl seem like a, a whore because got in like comfortable enough with you is it was really bad i was like ew that's just gross i don't remember how i handled it i don't think i actually ever confronted her about it which is weird because now me me I, i'll confront you won't fight me i don't like to fight i'm a very like calm person but i will definitely tell you my mind that that's really fucked up do you understand especially if you're around me Honestly, guys, I actually have to commend this hair. I really love the color mixture. I don't know how they were able to achieve this, but yeah, kudos to Asteria hair. yeah guys like i said i didn't actually approach her on it like i don't think i approached her on it and because of that me and her we actually never spoke i know i'm following her not because of beef i unfollow people on ig when i don't really like your content hey chai. don't feel bad though please if i have unfollowed you just dm me now let's settle it it's not beef do you understand i did unfollow her like it also pushed me away from that like the main friend that i knew her from because it's perplexing i don't i don't like the idea of that if you're my friend please be my friend if my man is entering your eye and you're my friend i know it's hard this is just said and done and you don't have to tell me straight up but either you just close your eyes or you just i don't know like just don't be sneaky thinking you're gonna go sleep with him and because in the end these men they will still come back and tell the babe you will not be the babe you think nah you wouldn't you actually wouldn't and not to judge anybody that does it but just to give you that insight that like you wouldn't be the bad bitch that you think you might turn out to be so yeah do you like my hair because i'm loving it i'm loving 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 it you guys i am absolutely like you need to feel this hair the texture is amazing it feels like it's my natural hair you know there are different textures of people's hair like human hair this is actually a very soft natural texture like i don't feel like i'm wearing a wig it feels like i'm wearing my hair i mean my hair is not this fine but <laughs> Her. I am so glad you guys stopped the end of this video. Honestly, my story times like 
it's always crazy but it's true because i've lived a crazy life not like crazy like crazy but like things that happen to me have been so crazy and i'm so honored to be able to speak to you guys about it because it means a lot to me so once again i got this beautiful hair from asteria hair you guys should check their website they have the best prices and they deliver so fast like it was from a very very reliable delivery company and it came quick to my doorstep so you should definitely check it out this particular hair is the piano colored hair it's highlights <laughs> the cutest highlights ever it actually comes in straight and also this body wave so you can have different colors different styles different lengths you know just spice it up when you do this hairstyle tag me do you understand like between me and you guys i honestly absolutely love it you know obviously every time i have a story time i have to advise you and my advice from this story time is honestly like look at your plates don't look at any other person's plates if not your food will get cold i know things happen for a reason but i honestly wish that she didn't do that in order for like our friendship to last because our friendship meant a lot to me we're always laughing we're always like good people around each other so just going behind my back to do that was kind of painful and like i said not to judge no one is really a bad person people just make bad decisions so yeah just you know stay lit <laughs> i love you guys so so much all the description of the hair will be down below please shop it and when you do you know me dear me let's chat about it let's let's choose the hair for you to buy together i mean i would love you to buy this particular one because it looks amazing anyway remember to like comment subscribe and watch out for my next video i love you guys Mwah. bye besties